Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your man, Mike Titan, the gaming savant, bringing y'all some Madden 16 news and updates. I typically don't do videos like this, but seeing as I'm getting back into sports gaming, I figure any and almost every news that comes out, I'll try to do some videos on if I have free time. And luckily, I do today. So today, we get the top 10 draft picks ratings for Madden 16 coming up. So you'll see the ratings for... Uh, Jameis Winston, Marcus Mariota, Amari Cooper, Todd Gurley, which I'm really looking forward to because I actually have the Rams in one of my online connected franchises I'll be playing with this year. So starting off, we got Amari Cooper, 82 overall. That has literally got to be the highest Raider rookie I've seen in forever. I'm trying to think who's a Raider rookie in Madden that I've seen that was that high. I can't honestly, maybe Darren McFadden when he came out of Arkansas, but that was like almost eight years ago. But yeah, so 82 overall, he has 92 speed, 94 agility, and 87 catching. That is actually very good for a rookie. Now, it's very interesting to see what his route running and beat press will be because he, y'all know he was a beast at Alabama. He pretty much had a highlight touchdown catch for like, you know, 40 or 50 yards almost every week. So it, it'll be interesting to see what his uh what his uh i guess you could say his uh intangible ratings are i'm, I'm really wanting to see what his route running is because uh let's see who's in that division the broncos the chargers and the chiefs broncos got chris harris jr so it'll be interesting to see what his route running skills are and now we have famous Amos or famous crab leg Jameis Winston. And he actually has some very good stats. 95 throw power, 88 throw accuracy, and uh, 81 agility, 75 strength, and 73 speed. Um, as we know, he's not – I would never count him as like a scrambling quarterback, even though he does he did scramble quite a few times at uh, Florida State. But it's very, it's very good to see that they gave him good throwing – good throwing attributes because he, he was a pretty good pocket passer while in college um, I don't dictate that he'll be a very I don't know I'm trying to think of that he would be good to run like in mutt and like the wildcat or the read option depends on how they do the read option this year but he has some pretty good stats it'll be interesting to see what his awareness is I'm very interested to see that because we know that it says that awareness counts for just computer but I think it also has some stuff to do with uh uh, user thrown as well so that'll be interesting next up what i'm most excited for todd Gurley, 80 overall from the st uh, st louis rams 91 trucking 91 speed 87 acceleration 80 elusiveness 91 trucking and 80 elusiveness for a rookie running back that's very good 89 stiff arm and 91 carry now this is what i have a slight problem with i know he tore his acl last season but they give him a 73 injury rating that's very low for him for my for me remembering, I don't think he had that many injuries in college. He may have had one or two, but he just had that big one. So I guess they're basing that off of that. But I think this should at least be an 80. I mean, 73, that's that's almost like Steve Slayton, like carrying numbers right there. If y'all don't know who Steve Slayton is, go look up. He's a Texas running back. Where literally in one year of Madden, his carry was like a 56. So like there is a 50% chance every time you ran the ball with him that he would fumble. But like I said, Gurley's got beast numbers. I will look forward to using him um, in my league that I got the Rams in. Just that 80 elusiveness and 91 trucking and 91 speed and acceleration. So that's very good altogether. Next up, we got Leonard Williams. Uh, defensive end for the Jets, sixth round, sixth overall pick, 90 block shed, 87 strength, 85 power move, and he also has an 83 pursuit and an 82 acceleration. That is damn good for a defensive end. That's almost like that's like baby JJ Watt numbers right there. Of course, you want good block shedding for a defensive lineman and good strength. Um, depending on if you use him or not, I don't think power move and speed move are that important. I don't use the defensive line when I play defense. I always use a middle linebacker, but I've always noticed that I get good defensive linemen who have good block shedding and strength. So those are the two main things you want to look for in the defensive end. Um, next, we have <clears throat> excuse me, Brandon Sheriff. Sheriff, I guess that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, fifth overall um, tackle for the Washington Redskins. Uh, let's see. He has 89 run block, 83 strength, and 80 pass block. That's okay. Um, pass block, 
run block and pass block are the main two things you want to look here um, and strength of course also be interested to see what his impact block is for whenever he gets to second levels if he's going to be able to pancake some linemen and uh, safeties over there just going to whiff over him uh, next you got Dante Fowler Jr. for the Jacksonville Jaguars DN third, o third overall pick now it'll be interesting to see if his stats stay like this because you do know I believe he got injured the first day of rookie training camp a couple of months ago so I believe he's going to be out for the season but they gave him 86 speed 89 acceleration 83 pursuit 83 finesse move and 84 agility as well as an 87 tackle that is pretty much what you would expect from i guess uh uh uh, uh what would you call it a uh uh, edge rusher linebacker in the four three uh, three four so those are very good stats but like i said i'll be interested to see if the first roster update if those stay the same since he's not going to play this season or if that's going to change uh next up we got melvin gordon uh, another running back that i like coming out of college more of the speed back than ty Gurley is he has the same speed a little bit better acceleration eddie of elusiveness 91 spin move and 69 trucking although he does have an 83 stiff arm I mean, that's good. That's good. He pretty much has the same elusiveness as Gurley, but he doesn't have the same trucking, of course, because he's more of a uh, elusive back. So I wouldn't imagine him to do. Um, it'll be real interesting to see what his carry is. If it's going to be something respectable, like a mid to high 80 or something, you know, like they crapped on him, like give him a low 70 or something like that. Next up, you got Kevin White, or as I like to call him, uh, Brandon Marshall's replacement for the uh, Chicago Bears. Um, here he has a 94 speed, 92 acceleration, 88 agility, and a rookie best 88 catching. Now, looking at, if you see these numbers on a wide receiver, you're going to think, man, that's got to be a tough receiver to beat. If you see these numbers on a rookie receiver who's pretty much got nothing but uh, up to go in the ceiling, that's just scary. It will be interesting to see what his catching traffic is and his beat press and route running. That What I always look for in receiver, I always look for route running and catching traffic. Because the type of offense I like to run, I like to throw a lot over the middle. I don't throw too much streaks because I'm not a big fan of speed receivers. But he, he looks like he could be the prototype receiver. He looks like he could be maybe another, um, I don't want to say another Calvin Johnson, but similar stats. It'll just be interesting to see if he can get off the press and if he has decent route running. Typically, they don't give rookie wide receivers good route running. They typically either give them like amazing speed and no route running and catching or good route running and catching and like very very subpar speed and uh next we have marcus Mariota, second overall pick from the tennessee titans um they gave him some actually way better stats and i thought they were going to give him after his uh last game in the college uh they gave him 87 throw accuracy throw accuracy 88 uh what is it oh throw actually short 88 mid and 90 throw on the one 88 speed 90 acceleration and 79 elusiveness so with these stats right here this is going to tell me that the Tennessee Titans are going to be running nothing but Chip Kelly's playbook in Madden 16 so you're going to see a lot of that people using uh the read option quarterback run stuff like that because Mariota has look at that 90 throw on the run Do, uh, understand this 90 throw on the run 88 speed and 90 acceleration this is literally Michael Vick 2004 Madden reincarnated what that means is that you will see a lot i guarantee you with the titans whether it be rank matches or in mutt especially if Mariota does good in his first year for the titans you will see a lot of people using him and just rolling out and just throwing because 90 throw on the run i don't think i've ever seen somebody have that high of a throw on the run maybe michael vick um back when he came back uh into the league with the eagles and he had that great year where he was like a 90 something but other than that that's like that's scary right there like this this is scary so when madden 16 comes out and you see nothing but marcus mariotas and your mutt uh draft champions uh, whoever has the titans in your league that that is damn scary right there and he still has good pocket throwing as well so he still has 88 short and 88 mid so it's like I don't know. It, it'll be very interesting to see. I bet you they're going to give him a low awareness just because they gave him all these good stats just to kind of balance him out. And last, we have Vic Beasley Jr., 77 overall DN for the Atlanta Falcons. Um, another quick edge rusher. He has 87 strength, 88 speed, 89 acceleration, and then 92 jumping. Um, Nothing too special. 
Uh, pretty much another Jadavion Clowney to me. Very good edge rusher. It'll be interesting to see what his block shedding is. Typically, those fast edge rushers like uh, Michael Johnson for the Bucks, they don't have too good block shedding because they're just kind of like quarterback hunters. But it'll be interesting to see... Uh, what the rest of his stats are so this is just the first line of line of ratings that they got coming out so we know that madden is right around the corner um i'm pretty shocked at some of these i'm very shocked at Mariota. i'm shocked at Gurley's injury rating all the other ones seem pretty up to par just depend you know based off of what they did in college so these are the ratings uh whenever the next ratings come out i'll try to do more videos on it i want to thank y'all for watching please make sure to like comment and subscribe it's your man mike titan and I'm out this piece. Gone.